Enjoying Nature During a Pandemic While the World Burns by Katie Manning. Grass twitches on the screen. A beat-up box fan blows a gentle breeze at my bare feet. To the right of my laptop, a painting of tulips and pinks, oranges and reds mailed to me last month by a former student turned friend. A car whirls past the grass, or did whatever this video of grass was recorded. A plane sighs somewhere far above my condo. Sometimes now, I go days without stepping outside. On mornings when our family does get out to walk, my youngest woo-woo-woos in response to both morning doves and displays his fistful of roly-polies, declaring that he cares for bugs. I tell him I'm glad, but roly-polies aren't bugs. They're crustaceans like shrimp. He still cares. He builds a nest of leaves on the sidewalk and asks if they will be happy there. I can't say no. For the last few weeks, the Eurasian collared dove on the roof has called constantly and more loudly than the aircraft. It is protecting its home. Does it long for company? If I weren't so exhausted, I might also spend all my time screaming.